Well, the answer to that question in the title kind of depends on uh, what lifestyle and or standard of living you want. But no matter which of those you answer with, uh, the answer is, is still a lot. So welcome back to the podcast once again, everybody. PayPal and Patreon links both down below if anybody wants to support me. Only do so if you actually can. Now, how much oil, how much petroleum do we actually need? Well, that depends on the context of the question. And no, you can't have a plentiful electric vehicle, all renewable energy world, powered by bunkers of batteries. As I have already explained and shown the math for before, in a video I will link in the corner now, in the description and in the top end comment, we've done and shown the math for that. It is a delusional fantasy. Granted the existence of uh, enough oil to provide for all of us uh, at first world living standards is also a delusional fantasy, but showing the math behind such delusional fantasies is kind of my thing. For the measure of our total needed petroleum consumption, I'm making the assumption that uh, one, you want everyone in the world who isn't already at uh, first world living standards to be able to live at first world living standards and not be stranded halfway in second world conditions or stuck in third and fourth world despondent poverty. So running off of that assumption, that means we're going to have to uh, compare some different first world country consumption numbers. So there's three different consumption standards uh, that we're going to run the numbers with. The first one, a more reasonable high consumption number. We're not going with the uh, absurdly wealthy Persian Gulf nations consumption numbers because those get even more ridiculous than the US's numbers. For the US, uh, the consumption numbers generally work out to about 1 million barrels per day for every 15 million people. That'll be our high consumption standard. Our uh, median consumption standard is uh, roughly 1 million barrels per day for every 30 million people. And then the ultra high efficiency first world standard, which a number of European nations work out to, is 1 million barrels per day of consumption per every 40 to 45 million people. And again, these aren't like universal things. Each country is almost uniquely different. So let's run through the three different uh, consumption standard levels of math. Assuming with just a, a blanket sweep that uh, the entire world would be under, you know, each individual one of these. And we'll do three sets of numbers for each. Uh, we'll do the current population of the world, the generically projected population of the world, just based on uh, extrapolated projections. And we'll also do the more likely uh, global population projection uh, that's been worked out based on extrapolations and also a number of other uh, factors like economic development and things and how those uh, tend to, once they start happening in different regions, uh, affect the extrapolation rates from those regions. So the numbers are as follows. The current population of the world is almost 7.9 billion. The projection uh, by most population sites just based on uh, pure extrapolation and the rate at which population growth is decreasing is projected uh, to peak at just under 11 at 10.9 billion. And the more complex uh, multiple factors considered projection has it actually not going all the way to 10 and peaking at 9.7 billion people. So going through the numbers first, uh, under the high consumption US standard at the current 7.9 billion, to have everyone at those first world living standards would require a constant oil production, constant oil supply of 526 million barrels per day. Over 400 million barrels per day more than uh, the highest global oil production ever was. But so yeah, even just frozen at the current uh, global population of just under 7.9 billion, everyone at US scale, first world living standards, would require a constant oil stream of 526 million barrels per day, which is not going to happen and does not exist. Now under the more uh, complex population projection peak of about 9.7 billion at our highest point, that entire population of the world would require around 647 million barrels per day, over 500 million barrels per day higher than uh, we are currently capable of producing. Granted, global oil production is going to increase. I initially expected the peak uh, to potentially come around 120. 
Uh, however, it's looking like it will probably be below that, uh, closer to 110 or so. Uh, the just generic extrapolation projection of almost 11 billion people, 10.9, would require almost 730 million barrels per day. Something that is not going to happen. Now then, let's drop down uh, to a more median uh, oil consumption level uh, of first world standards, the more Japanese, Australian-y sort of uh, number range, the 1 million barrels per day per 30 million residents. At the current population of 7.9 billion, that would require 263 million barrels per day. And like I said, global oil production is likely not going to get past 120, the uh, more likely of the two population peaks, about 9.7 billion, that would require 323 million barrels per day. And the higher projection of nearly 11 billion people would require 363 million barrels per day, which is never going to happen. And then the uh, really high efficiency model of first world living uh, that many of the uh, uh, European Union members uh, go after, about 1 million barrels per day for every 45 million. Uh, at a frozen current population of 7.9 billion, that would require uh, less than 200 at least, uh, but still higher uh, than we are going to be capable of 175 million barrels per day. Now the more likely of the two uh, population peak projections, 9.7 billion people would require 215 million barrels per day much smaller than most of those other numbers in the uh, first two sets, however still not going to be seen. And the higher of the two population projections, 10.9 billion people at peak population, all at higher efficiency first world living standards, would still require 242 million barrels per day which will not materialize. And even just looking quickly at uh, some individual uh, countries, some rising nations, China most likely going to overtake the US in consumption very soon, even if uh, they end up completely with the high efficiency model, uh, they will still end up needing about 31 million barrels per day for their uh, population of 1.4 billion. Vietnam, a much smaller population at around 100 million, uh, likely probably going to uh, be heading up towards a uh, peak between like 120 and 140, but even just assuming they stuck around 100 million, and if they stuck on the uh, European super high efficiency consumption model, they theoretically should only need about 2 million barrels per day of oil consumption uh, for everyone to be up at first world levels. And even just a quick look at the US itself, it's one of the few first world nations that still has a uh, significantly increasing population. The US uh, might end up peaking uh, up towards around 400 million or so, which at US uh, consumption level standards would end up with uh, the US likely growing up to a, a high point of 26 million barrels per day of oil demand from the present average of between 20 and 22. However, like I said, uh, most of these high point numbers are never going to be reached because things are going to be happening between now and then. All right, that's it for this one. Hope you had a fun little math session. Uh, thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. I have all kinds of episodes uh, about other stuff if you want to see that too. My links are down below if you want to support me only. Do so if you actually can. May God bless and protect you all, and I will see you all around next time.